Good morning, Bombardiers, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Morning Cereal. Uh, this time I actually do have cereal to eat with you on Saturday morning. Uh, I guess third time's the charm. So um, I guess I'm going to finish off this these last few little bites of um, uh, frosted mini wheats. So anyway, I um, hope you've got your own stuff there to uh, to work on this morning, some coffee or something else. Uh, Is it bad that I like to um, leave those sitting in the milk until they've uh, gotten really soft? Oh man, that's some good cereal. Uh, as far as Patreon goes, um, I got some stuff uh, uploaded for the patrons. The, uh, the steampunk set that I was working on with uh, Terry's crew, you know, uh, the Terry, the... Uh, the Arcane Gun Mage. I got the sculpts all posed and, and all of that. I got them exported for download. So those were updated over on the Patreon page. And uh, if you want to go check out, uh, you know, what we have on there, there's a bunch of uh, pictures that I have of each one of the uh, each one of the characters that are available in February set. Uh, now, also, uh, we've got the uh, Arcane Forge that's available that's uh it's got the forge itself plus the arcane bellows that um you know blows air into the the forge to keep the coals hot and uh, then there's a bunch of other little accessories that go along with that so that's also available as download as a bonus in the bomb kit uh and then i've also created a, a set of uh, it's, it's, uh, bases. Uh, it's a core basis set. And, uh, basically it's a bunch of, you know, 25 millimeter or standard size or standard shaped base sizes, uh, styles. Uh, there's some different textures on them. There's, uh, wood planks and cobblestones and so forth. And so those are available in both the standard style base, uh, round and the premium style base, like you'd ex expect to use in, uh, dark age or, uh, War Machine or something like that. So we've got those available for download uh, as a bonus on the Patreon too. I, I kind of wanted to talk to you about uh, the plans that I have for March's set of cyberpunk models. Um, so uh, as you can see I've got uh, some inspiration for the uh, cyber crew and I kind of wanted to go over some of my thoughts about what I had in mind for doing for that. Um, if you didn't know uh, last month our patrons voted on uh, what model set they wanted to see next month. And so um, Cyberpunk came out on the top. And so I've been looking online and checking out uh, uh, different reference material and pictures and so forth to kind of get an idea of like what I would want to produce for um, you know a set of uh, Cyberpunk themed models. Uh, they... Um, uh, I had done a few of those uh, before uh, for Reality's Edge. Uh, um, uh, Joey McGuire over at uh, uh, World's End Publishing uh, was going to put out a little set of figures. And so right now those are in production. I think they're being printed or cast or something like that. So he's got some little cyberpunk models that I had sculpted. Uh, and so I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. And um, even though you could use these uh, characters, you know, in that game or any other kind of cyberpunk game that you're playing, something like Shadowrun or, or you know, something along those lines. Um, uh, the only cyberpunk style model that I had really done, you know, for us was on the Babes 4 Kickstarter project, which was the Chrissy model, which is uh, uh, cyberpunk, well, it's sort of a hard suit kind of character uh, like you would expect to see in, you know, anime or something like that. Uh, and it was uh, inspired by that. So uh, what I thought about doing was going back to that model and uh, creating some iterations off of that, which would be uh, maybe some modular parts where you could get a set of uh, different arms and legs poses in different armored suit styles with different helmets and that sort of thing. So you could kind of put your own hard suit crew together out of a collection of little modular uh, pieces that way you could uh, print those out print out the ones that you wanted for that or if you have a piece of software like mesh mixer or something you could actually combine those meshes uh, in that and print out you know your own unique combination of, of uh, parts so uh, plus that's a lot of fun for me because I like to 
uh, when I, I get pieces of like, you know, resin kit or something, I like to experiment with poses and, and that sort of thing and, and see if I can come up with something that's, um, you know, expressive or whatever, you know, for what I'm, I'm wanting to put together. Um, so that was just one part of it. Uh, I've been looking at, you know, some other art for the, um, some of the different characters. I'd like to do maybe two or three unique characters and then maybe a set of modular, um, you know, AD police style uh, trooper type of uh, cyberpunk characters. So uh, that way you could get, uh, you know, like an armored SWAT team kind of a thing, you know, with uh, uh, some different weapons, different uh, poses and, and that kind of thing. Now that's, that's going to depend on, you know, how much time I have in order to make all of that. Uh, they will probably outfitted with uh, very counterblast looking weapons in a way, because then it's like, um, you know, folks that are playing the counterblast game can use the models in that. So, um, so anyway, those are my thoughts. You know, I'm still working on it, but I'm going to be posting pictures and, uh, work in progress shots, uh, screen captures as I work on those pieces and so forth between now and when I'm hoping to release those the first week of March over on Patreon. Now, of course, you know, just like with our other stuff, this is kind of a new model uh, that we're rolling forward this year and, uh, you know, releasing the digital files first for download and then putting those files into production and actually producing, you know, resin pieces. So just like with this other stuff, just like we did with Babes 4, you know, that went right to uh, resin. So these cyberpunk models will be coming out um, in uh, resin, you know, once we can get those printed. But those are going to be, you know, after we get finished with Terry's crew. So, uh, you know, we've got the big uh, giant robot thing and, and the, the uh, uh, arcane construct and the little goblin mechanic to, to go out next. So uh, we finally got uh, the uh, Monster Babes updated in the web store. So those are available for download right now. And we also added the retro lab kit from January's Patreon set. So that's available for download in there and you can check the web store for the pricing and so forth. Um, and I also added the basis set on there. So if you guys uh, are not Patreon backers, but you wanna get the STL files, uh, you can go to the STL section of the web store and download uh, those files and print them out. Um, we um, also worked on sending off the uh, the printer files to our print vendor. Uh, so Vision Proto actually has those right now and they're going to be uh, printing those. You will expect the quality of the castings to be exactly like we had on Babes 4 when those come back. Uh, and so I'll shoot some video and take some pictures and stuff once we get those prints in and I'll kind of walk you through the process of what it takes to clean those prints and um, mold them and start casting those to put those in the web store. I'm not sure exactly when we'll get the prints in. Uh, we got a little bit behind schedule on sending those out this month. So uh, as soon as they come back, we're, I'm hoping to have those in the web store before March, uh, but it may wind up being you know sometime in March actually before we're able to, uh, to post those for sale, uh, depending on how long it takes to, to put them into production. Uh, so anyway, I'd kind of like to share that with you and, and show you, you know, what that process is. So as soon as we get those in, I'll, I'll be um, sharing that with you. Um, I also wanted to uh, mention that uh, we've still got Vicky's uh, Valentine promo going on in the web store. You, you know, so if you order $40 or more worth of stuff, we're going to be happy to send you um, one of our little Archer figures as uh, this month's token Cupid character. I kind of wanted to also tell you about um, some Kickstarter stuff. Uh, last episode, I had mentioned that we were planning on uh, doing a Bikes and Bots Kickstarter project in order to release some new STL files that you can download and print out uh, with uh, rocket bikes and robots and all that sort of thing. So uh, what we're looking at doing is I, I went through the files. There's a lot of stuff that I had started on uh, that's new. Uh, that needs to be finished and cleaned up. Uh, there's also some ideas that I had that I haven't uh, put together yet that I haven't started sculpting on. And so I want to get started on that and work on those pieces. But we also wanted to uh, offer, you know, our existing models that we had. Uh, so I went through the folders for the, uh, like the Mechas and the Helper Bots and, you know, all of that stuff that we had done for Counter Blast before 
that I had done in ZBrush. And so I need to go in and do some maintenance on those files. Uh, I, I did print them out before. So they are printable models. They do work um, since, you know, we've already released them in resin and metal. Um, but uh, I kind of want to tweak them a little bit and uh, polish them up a little bit more uh, and make sure that, you know, um, they work for, uh, you know, home printing. And uh, since I have a home printer, I can test some of those models and make sure that they work okay. But uh, we wanted to kind of fill out our new stuff with offering some of our old stuff so it would be new to you in a way. Uh, even though we've released those models, you know, and you could get them as, um, you know, resin or, or metal castings that we have in the web store, uh, this is the first time that we make them available for, um, for download where you can print them out at home. So uh, that'll kind of help fill out our uh, Kickstarter package uh, and add some value to it that, um, that will make it, you know, new for you. Uh, so there's a, there's a bunch of really cool models in there that, uh, that I was looking at. And I know that uh, as much of a fan as you guys were when they first came out, everybody's going to want to have mini bots uh, available for download. So, uh, so I went through those files and took a look at them again, and the mini bots are, you know, are going to be available on the next Kickstarter, and uh, I, I'm excited about that because I, I'm a big fan of those models too. Uh, but anyway, so I wanted to mention that to you, and uh, so that's that's in the works as well. Uh, but also, uh, there's something that I wanted to mention that I ran across, which was a really cool Kickstarter, and it. Uh, it's kind of different. So for those of you that are playing Eberron and, and some other, you know, arcane fantasy type of uh, type of games, uh, there's a Kickstarter that I ran across, and it's the Skies of Sordain. And it's um, a really cool looking uh, campaign. They've created these giant sky ships, like a big floating dirigible type of uh, uh, crafts and... and uh, flying ships and, and all this, and it looks like they've got cannons and stuff on them and all that. So what they're offering is this package deal with, you know, you get the ships and you get the crew and there's like several different themes of designs that they have. So uh, they've got some like mechanics and some other things so, or uh, merchants. They've got a merchant uh, uh, faction or, or whatever. So the, it's a really cool looking uh, design. What they launched with was a collection of ships that they had already sculpted and had already printed, you know, uh, test prints. And then there's the, the first crew. Now, it looks like that they've just got art for the other crews on there. Um, but uh, I'm sure that, you know, uh, between now and the time that they're going to fulfill that, you know, they'll be sculpting all those because that's what you're getting is the digital files for that. So... Uh, so down at the bottom of the, the campaign, they've, there's a, a credit section with, you know, who's done the work on the campaign and everything. So it, it, it looks pretty neat. Uh, it funded like in the first, you know, hour and a half uh, when they launched it. Uh, they did a really good job of uh, marketing that and getting the word out to uh, folks that are interested in that uh, type of a campaign. And so uh, now they're on to stretch goals and, and that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm very curious to find out. It's it's going to run about a month. They've got about, you know, 20 something days left on it. And, um, I'm really interested to see, you know, how far it's going to go, what kind of a reach that they're going to have into the, uh, the 3d printing community, uh, on that project. So, um, check it out if you get a chance and, um, uh, you know, throw some money their way and, and, uh, get yourself some cool models. But, I think that's going to wrap up this week's uh, Saturday morning cereal. Uh, so uh, go ahead and, you know, finish your coffee or, you know, hot chocolate or tea or whatever you're having. And uh, uh, we're going to continue to work on stuff here. Uh, there's no days off. <laughs> so between now and, uh, you know, the first of March, it's all nose to the grindstone. And, and uh, hopefully if you get a chance to check us out on the rest of our social media, like, you know, our Instagram account and uh Facebook and our Facebook groups and all that sort of thing. Uh, check that out. Join our mailing list over on the web store if you get a chance to do that because we send out, you know, updates on, you know, when all of our new stuff is available. If you like these YouTube things, you enjoy watching this and killing some brain cells, you know, over breakfast and talking to me. 
uh, go ahead and, you know, do the like and subscribe thing, you know, down below, click on the buttons and all that sort of thing, or check out the links that I have. Uh, I've, the stuff that I mentioned in here, there's links down in the comment section, you know, under the video for, um, uh, all the stuff that I talk about here in the episode. Uh, so anyway, I'll let you guys get back to your Saturday and I will see you next week.